In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can put an image on a website and when you click on it it'll automatically darken the background and show you a larger version of the image. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is log into your website and you'll also need to prepare two images. So here's an example. This is the larger image that I've got that I want to show on the website and here's the smaller one which I call the thumbnail. So when a user clicks on the small one, this larger one will dissolve in and show them the high res version. So let's go to our website and I've already started preparing a page here. So the first thing I want to do is click on insert image and then I'll browse. Now I've already uploaded my two files so you'll need to upload yours and I'll show you how I've named them it just makes it easier to find stuff. So for the small one I always name them underscore thumb and the large one is just the large one there nz underscore photo. So first I want to put in the thumbnail click select I give it a name and of course to be search engine friendly um, let's call it nz lake you try and use the words that people would find uh, that would people would use in a search engine um, it also helps for uh, the blind they have readers that read a web page and um, tell you what each of the images is now since we're going to put a link on it we don't want that ugly blue outline to show up so we go to the appearance settings and we change border to zero and go insert so there's our little thumbnail now we want it to put a link on it so we click link and then we click browse and we go and select the larger version of our image which is nz underscore photo that should actually be named nz underscore lake if that was the keywords I was looking for we select that the only thing we have to change is go over into the advanced tab and change relationship page to target to lightbox and that's a plugin inside the E107 content management system that allows this to happen then click update and let's create that page or update that page and let's take a look at it so I've got an on click show large without the E oops image light box oh, without the T there it is there now watch what happens when I click on it and that can add that woe factor to your website that's how easy it is